Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to another Yellow Chair, where today we're going to be talking about the role of Satan in your life, in the life of our culture. How can you identify when he's at work, and how can you protect yourself from him? So the Bible speaks of this character that is identified as the devil or Satan. And we've all seen depictions of this, but what most people don't understand when the Bible speaks of the devil is that it's not a proper name. The, the Greek word is diabolos and it means a slanderer. And so Jesus never actually gives a proper name to this principality, this power of darkness this spirit of antichrist that's at work in the sons of disobedience that are against God's will. He just gives descriptive words and adjectives like slanderer, accuser, wants to steal, kill, destroy the work of God. So there's the Holy Spirit, which has got characteristics of love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control that is at work in the world trying to come into our lives and mingle its spirit with our spirits that we can become image bearers of God, reflectors of God's character and goodness. And then there's the spirit of antichrist. And so you can identify when the spirit is having its way, having its influence in your life or in the life of others, when you're being influenced to murder someone's character, uh, slander them behind their back instead of going to the person as uh, an image bearer of God and wanting to respect them and recognizing that maybe you're not you're missing something about uh, what you're interpreting as being wrong. Um, instead of respecting them, giving you the benefit of the doubt, going trying to talk it out and be at peace with them, you're slandering them, you're accusing them, um, you're you're wanting others to cancel them. Anytime you see that at work in your life, against you or from you, or in this culture that refuses to agree to disagree, but has become very tribal and just wants to cancel anybody that disagrees with them. It's like, if you don't just celebrate with me, then I'm going to accuse you of being a bigot and full of malice and hate. And um, I want to dehumanize you um, and, and cancel you rather than just respecting each other in, in having different perspectives and different views and agreeing to disagree. So you can tell when, when God is having his way, God always respects everybody as a value and intrinsic worth, even if we disagree with him. And we're, you know, God's wanting to influence us to not be dismissive, but be respectable, um, to say, let's debate and, and let's have vibrant arguments, but let's not dehumanize one another and, and call each other evil and put our, each other, put ourselves in a superior position, put you in an inferior position. Um, that's the work of this this character that we call uh, the Satan, the devil, the, the slander. He's he's a prosecuting attorney. He wants to get to the core identity and, and devalue you and say you're evil, you're wicked, you're horrible, you're stupid, you're a loser. Um, that is all the work of Satan trying to tear you down, trying to steal the work of God in your life, trying to devalue you and make you feel worthless. Whereas when God is having his way, there's words of edification and trying to build up and trying to put courage into you and trying to re help you recognize you have a role to play and you're valuable and you're meaningful. Even if we disagree on some things, um, I can still respect you as an image bearer of God. So that's the cosmic battle. And that's how you can recognize how Satan is at work in your life to tear you down. And so I just encourage you today, get around people who are able to agree to disagree, able to be respectable, able to make you feel valuable while you work out your convictions and what you think is right and wrong. And um, try to stay away as much as you can from people that are negative and, and grumbling and backbiting and slanderous and gossipers. And that's all the work of Antichrist. And so uh, if you're struggling today, I just encourage you the solution uh, there's power in Jesus' name. Call upon the name of the Lord and allow him to reveal to you your value to God and your value to life and culture that he wants to come and join his spirit to your spirit and make you a formidable spirit for good, for truth, for building people up so that you're no longer responsible for tearing things down. I hope this helps. All the best today. 
Thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Yellow Chair. If this information was helpful to you, would you do us a favor and click the like button on our YouTube videos to help us in the algorithm and get this information out to others? Also, if you have a friend or an acquaintance that you think this could be helpful to, make sure you share it with them and hit the subscribe button as well and we'll drop a new video for you each week that will hopefully help you in all things pertaining to life and godliness because we want fullness of joy for you. Have a great day.